just my luck. Of course, you are put on my contract. Do you even know anything about the theatre? The cursed play? The one no performer should ever name, lest they end up consumed by the phantom that haunts it? <sighs> it's said that the play's author wrote it while high as an eagle on Urgot. He didn't know, of course, and died upon penning the final word. The play, whose name I shall not utter, is about a beautiful young lady who finds herself swept into a world beneath the sands of the Vestiri, where the dead have built a city of bones. She marries a statue, becomes the queen of the city, and then her skin peels off and a hundred little versions of her spill out. Completely nutty! It's locked up with the rest of the works deemed distasteful by the Templar, and I simply must have it. What do you need? I'm here. Stay on script and hit your marks. Heading our way. <laughs> oh, it's more like nothing bad. Coming a mile away. Obey your orders. We're just looking around this way. Hold. Should have rehearsed more. Seize them. Obey your orders. I'll take point. Halt! We've got trouble. What an anticlimax. Stay in formation. Halt. This is a risk. Enemies heading our way. Formation. This is a drill. No time for accolades. Go. Let's do all this. 
Marilla turns to her beloved's unmoving face and speaks the blessed words. Marilla, two into one, one into many, to churn the world beneath the crashing dunes. Marilla's body shatters like porcelain, each fragment becoming Marilla. Each new Marilla shatters again and again, each fragment becomes whole. The stage is flooded by Marilla. All is Marilla. A statue rises and exit stage right. Finn. Wow. <laughs> I mean, wow. That was something, right? That, that was something, right? <clears throat> I think I might just stick to the unbanned works for a little while, actually. <laughs> Thanks, though. Off you go.